Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Vito Studio and today I'm gonna share with you a free sample from our Pop Cinematic Pack. So let's check it out. All right, so you can download the zip file by clicking the link in the description below. You can just then double click on the zip file to unzip it and you will get this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, you have the instruction, you have the DRFX file and you have the font. Make sure to install the font provided for it to work properly. So simply double click on the font and then double click on the DRFX file. It will open this pop-up window, click install and now your title should be installed in DaVinci. So now in DaVinci Resolve, we're in the edit page. To find the title, you can go over to Effect, Title, Video Editor Studio, and here you can search for Sample. There you'll be able to find all the samples that you may already have from us, and here, Pop Title Cinematic Sample. You can as well just make a quick search right here uh, by just searching for pop and you will uh, find the title very easily you can just then drag it drop it directly in the timeline and now we can start working with it so as you can see there is an animation in right now there is not animation out but you can change that right here in the inspector by selecting the animation out that you desire so here you have zoom in zoom out rise up sync down pan left pan right fade out so right now i'm just gonna choose zoom in and as you can see now the animation out is just uh, zoom in on on the title uh, we could switch it right here for a fade out and here it will just change for just a fade uh, you have a couple options you can just pick and choose uh, what fits your project best also in the inspector we have everything you need to modify this title so here we have size and position where you can modify the position of your title and you can modify as well the size and the angle if you want to reset any of the parameter, just double click on it and it will reset the parameter to the default parameter. Then moving on, we can go over to text. Uh, so here you can change the text, DaVinci uh, Resolve, for example. We're gonna change that right here. You can change the font as well. Again, the size, the tracking to give it uh, look a bit different. We can add some uh, line spacing. Here, we're gonna reduce the size a little bit, for example. Then we have opacity here for the filling of the letter uh, that will just leave only the outline and the shadows. So you could do that right here. You could change the color of your gradient here by selecting the gradient and then uh, switching the color, for example, here for uh, orange. Same here with the blue, we can just select the blue and uh, change the color if we want to change it. So here for purple, for example. You could also add point here in your gradient. If you wish to change also the border, you can do that here by selecting the second one and it will just basically allow you then to modify here the thickness of the border and the color of the border right here. Right now I'm just gonna reset it to white and reset the thickness as well, going back here to one as well and uh, we can make some more adjustment here with the gradient so then here you could change the mapping angle the mapping size the mapping aspect and the mapping level so basically here the mapping angle will be the angle of the gradient so we can switch right now that angle we can modify it like so now we can make that gradient more diffuse by just raising here the mapping size and it will just blend those two colors a bit more or we can reduce it to have just like a straight line cutting the text. As you can see also here right now it's selected for character so each letter got a gradient in it but we can switch it here to text and that's only the text that's going to be affected and not letter by letter. Uh, you could do the same thing here with word and each word uh, going to be affected and not letter by letter as well. Uh, right now I'm just going to go back to character and I'm going to raise uh, the mapping size and the mapping aspect. Uh, I'm going to reduce it a little bit like that. I'm also going to change a bit the angle like that. I'm happy with that. Then you can change the shadow offset, the softness and the color of the shadow. So here you could change the color of the shadow to black, for example, uh, and you could adjust the softness of it to have some sort of uh, glow behind instead. And the shadow offset is basically the position of the shadow. So you can move it uh, on the side. Uh, you could move it vertically as well. Uh, if you want to cast, for example, a shadow that looks like it's far away, you can do that right here. Right, I'm just gonna go back to my original one. And then there is one last one here that is background. So if we were to just leave that to a second track and bring here some footage or an image uh, below the text, if we would like to create more separation between the text and the image, we could do that right here with the background. So here you're gonna add an animated background by raising the opacity here 
we're basically bringing a layer between the text and the footage behind. And that layer is animated. So here, if we play it, as you can see, there is an opacity animation on that layer and it helps you to create more separation between your subject and your text. And there's a lot of things you can do with that background. Here, uh, we could reduce the width and the height of it. We could uh, change, for example, here the corner radius. Um, we could invert also that, so it affect only uh, the border and not the center of the image. Um, we could change the position. We could change uh, the border width. There is really a lot of things that you can do. You can change also the colors um, of that background. So here we could do brown, for example. There is really a lot of possibilities. And here you have one last thing is that you can change the perspective of your text. You can change the X, Y, and Z axis uh, easily uh, right there. So that's another addition uh, to uh, the background modification. And that's pretty much it. You're really free to do whatever you want with this title. We give you a starting point and then you can really modify it as you go to fit your project. Again, feel free to download that free sample by clicking the link in the description below. The full pack is available on our website and contains 20 unique titles. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles created from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.